Amen. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for our time in your presence. Bless us. Bless us through your word. Bless us through your wisdom in the name of Jesus. Give us unsearchable knowledge and understanding into our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm sure you have been told, if you have not been told, that our book for the month is the art of ministry. Amen. The art of ministry. Also, we are studying the book, which is what I preached from on Sunday, The Mega Church. Okay? Oh, there it is. The Mega Church. So this is what I preached from on Sunday, and I'm preaching from here on Wednesdays. Amen. 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 Now, the art of ministry is the art of life. Amen. Amen. The same skills you need in ministry, the same skills you need in life. All right? And today, I'm talking about how to increase your value. How to increase your value. How to increase your value. Amen. Now, in everything you do, your value is important. Amen. Amen. And one of the most difficult things to do is to determine the value of somebody or determine the value of something. So even when you go to the university, there's a course called valuation. Now, the, 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 the reason for that course is to be able to determine the right value of things. Amen. Because it's very difficult to determine the value of anything. Because also value changes from person to person. What makes somebody value his wife is an, for another person, that thing is an annoyance. Do you get it? Say maybe your cooking is what makes you valuable to your husband. You may meet another man who doesn't like eating or doesn't, is not really keen about food. And you will come with all that cooking skills, but it will not make you any special. I had a, a, a visitor many years ago. When you serve him food, he'll eat a little, then he'll say, put it in the fridge for me, I'm saving it. Then tomorrow you give him another food. You take about just two, three spoons, say, save it for me. Then the next day you have cooked, when you finish cooking, where is the food that I saved on Monday? No, true story. He will ask you, where is the food that I saved on Monday? Go and bring it. So if you have eaten it, the evening is spoiled. If you go and bring the food, he will, you want me, he will eat some of it. Then, but to your surprise, oh, save this one for me. You'll be shocked. So you spend the whole afternoon trying to make food for him. He's thinking about the food you gave him last week, which he, not that make the same thing, no, the one that he was eating that he said, save it for me. That's the one he's looking for. And he will explain to have eaten it to a certain point. I know where the line <laughs> I know where the line is. I know where the line is, so bring it. Hey! And this, 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 this guy that I know I'm talking about, his wife likes to cook. And up to today, after 50 plus years, he's still as slim as Pastor Preston, if not slimmer. When I visit him, you see his wife will make different delicacies. I said, me, ask for me. I don't say no to these things. Bring it to me quickly. <laughs> me, I'm not saving anything. If it's here, we serve the Lord now. So I'm saying this to say that it's difficult to determine people's value because value changes from person to person. We value gold at what it is, not because it's 
gold is necessarily nice. It's because a certain value has been, somebody has told us, gold is valuable. Suddenly, if we find gold everywhere in everybody's house, gold will not be valuable anymore. Do you remember a time where fuel, there was so much um, crude that they now fuel was charging at a negative? Do you remember? Or you don't, you don't watch the news? Okay, sorry. But during COVID, fuel was now negative. It's like they pay you to buy fuel. But we never got it from the garage. The, I'm talking about Ramaphosa and Co. When the countries go that they are going to buy for, they pay, it's like negative. The cost is negative. Because now there was very little movement in the world and there was more oil available than can be kept. So they were forcing to let it go to other places. Do, do, do you understand? So value differs. So when it comes to God also, if you are working for God, it's important to know or, for, or to be valuable to anybody. It's important to know what is valuable to them, what they see as valuable. Then your value will increase. Now, anywhere you work at, you, work, you are paid because of your value. And they check your value. If you are not valuable to them, anytime they get an opportunity to retrench, they will retrench you. Because you are not of much value to them. That's why I'm teaching you how to increase your value. Yeah. So that at no point in time when they are looking for somebody to sack. You see, the modern words today is downsizing, working from home, or every, camp, every proper campaign, evaluation, appraisal, performance, appraisal. Every time they are checking. If you work at a place, they don't do these things. It's a bad place to work. Because what it means is that you will not add value to yourself. You are here, you cannot be sacked. You are at the job workplace, they can't sack you. You are just there, eternal, from beginning, alpha and omega, cannot be removed from the place. It's not a good place because you, you will not take your work seriously because you cannot be sacked. You just wake up today, you don't feel like going to work, you call in that you are sick. Nobody will check. When you come late, nobody will say anything. When you close before uh, you are supposed to close, nobody will take lunch. 30 minutes lunch, you go for one hour. They don't say, it's not a good place for you. I'm telling as a child of God, it's not a good place for you to be working. Any proper place. Look, teacher Brenda, you should do appraisal, evaluation. Who's working, who's not working, how well they are working. Have stand and let the people, don't just come up with your own standard. On Friday, when you see Melanie, you don't like her hairstyle, you say, okay, the appraisal mark is here. No. Let the team be there, clear. they all know. If I don't do this thing, then like those who do commission work, they tell you, if you don't get this target, look, I knew somebody who got a job at some of these places. First man, they said, you didn't meet the... Go home. I was sitting here when she came home. Yes. But proud to that day of the go home, everything looked nice. All the report I get from the workplace was very pleasant. The boss is nice. The Lord is moving. The work is very simple. Everything is very beautiful. Oh, Charlie, glory be to God. What a breakthrough. What a blessing. Then suddenly, boom, go home. I said, why? So, target, you didn't meet it. Go home. Today's world is governed by that. Accept it. And I'm saying, you, if you are working at a place where these things are not, you are going to school where they don't check how much you pass, they are okay. You don't come to school, you are not passing, they are okay. They are preparing you for failure. I was looking at a boy's results. Um, today or yesterday. Look, the highest mark on the thing is 50%. And the person is going to do an upgrade. And I look, I say, if, if he, the, the subjects is going to upgrade, if he gets level seven in all of them, when the seven comes, we have to now upgrade. Yeah, the other ones, because if you add the seven to the old ones, we still can't do anything with it. We still can't do anything with it. So I said, maybe after church, I'll talk to Malik. He should go and learn mechanic. Start now. Three years that he will be a master. 
even electrician, body well, um, panel beta well, that's something. It's because our teachers don't do a proper appraisal. Even when we write the exam, they just tell us that we have passed 31, 32. Then they tell you you have passed. Then you keep coming home and going with a smile on your face. Even you are a failure about to happen in the not so distant future. Yeah. And a lot of children today, because their parents are not that vested and clued up in what it takes, they just seem to be passing through the system. Remember the story of the 61, eh? Yeah, it will become your name. It will, be, it, will, it will follow you. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you must all be determined. And parents, um, look, don't let me sound like the wicked one. That I'm the one. Later on in life, eh, you see the children will say, Bishop was right. My mother was wicked. You wait and see. You be be painting me in your house as the demon possessed guy who's always shouting that the children must pass. Don't, no problem. Give them another 10, 15 years. When they see where life has put them, they'll say, ah, Bishop was right. My mother was the one who was causing the problem. That's when you will see when they start to pepper you. Better put your foot down and have, let them have a high and good expectation of the, what do you expect from them and what they are supposed to achieve. It looks like, I told you Sunday, somebody told me, tough love is also a type of love. I've never, I've never heard such a Hebrew saying before. It's a, it's a type of love. Tough love. Yeah, so you must all decide that whatever you do, there must be a system of appraisal, a system of seeing how well you are doing, which forces you to add value to yourself. Even tax credit, they've added value to it, giving us value added tax. <laughs> it's a type of tax to make sure that we all pay tax. They add it to the value of every product. As soon as you buy, you buy Sasco bread, not there are taxes inside. Two rands fifty, whether you like it or not. Mm. I don't know whether it's the fourth slice or the fifth slice that is the tax, but one of them is the tax. So that's why I'm talking to you about how to add value to yourself or how to increase your value. Now, because I said value differs from person to person, we are going to look at things that are generally valuable to everybody. Yeah, so these things, if, and no matter where you work at, it will make you valuable. So number one, add value to yourself, number one, by becoming sendable. Or your value increases when you can be sent. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. Your, your value goes up greatly when you are somebody, when you are em, an employee, when you are somebody, when you are a shepherd, that can be sent. And I heard, I heard the voice of the Lord say, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, here am I, send me. Being sendable is a very valuable quality wherever you are. Whether you work for ESCOM, whether you work for um, FMB, whether you work for your mother, when you can be sent, you become valuable. Anybody who can be sent become valuable. Because many people cannot be sent. A lot of people cannot be. You can't send them. Because to, when you are sent, it requires, number one, faithfulness and diligence. Faithfulness to the mission. Faithfulness to the message. When you are sent, you are not just sent to go. You are always sent to do something. Can you be sent to go and do something? Many people, you send them, they may go, but they may not do what you send them to do. That's I said. It's not as simple as, yes, please, then you start to go. That's not it. If we sent you to go and buy fuel, you can't come back with paraffin and say, when I went, paraffin was cheaper. Paraffin was cheaper. No, it was a mission 
you go and you accomplish for that which you have sent. That's why the Bible says, the word of God, it will not return void. It will accomplish that which, for which it has been sent. If you sent it to go and do something, it will do it before it comes back. Can you be sent to go and accomplish something? Or when you, I mean, there are children, I mean, when we're children, they send us to go and buy something. As we are going, we see people playing football. We also go and play. You play, play, play. You forget that you have been sent. Three hours later, you remember that you have been sent. So you decide to go. Now you start to look in your pocket. You can't find the money that you have been sent with. Even what they ask you to buy, you have forgotten. So now here you are, you are walking around the shop trying to remember. <laughs> trying to remember what you were sent to go and buy. Is it sardine? Is it mackerel? Is it tomato paste? Is it tomato sauce? Is it... Or even you remember that it's tomatoes. But is it peeled tomatoes? Tomato puree? Cut tomato, chop tomato. You don't know. So here you are. You are walking around the shop trying to remember. <laughs> when the owner calls you, what? what? I said, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> so, 8 o'clock, you are not coming. Then they send people in the house to come and look for you. They sent you from 1 p.m. <laughs> Finally, they've closed the shop. <laughs> you are still going around the shop. <laughs> Just trying to remember what you have been sent to go and do. When you come home, you'll be beaten. Next time, when they are looking for somebody to send, you will not be sent. And some people enjoy when they are never asked to do anything. But your value reduces drastically when nobody can ask you to do anything. Yeah, I mean, just even me, your value to me reduces as a church member when I can't ask you to do anything. Immediately, you just drop. It's not, it's, it's not like I'm personal or I've targeted you. Like, oh, I see that bishop has targeted me nowadays. No, I've not targeted you. You're, you go up when I can send you, when I can ask you to do something. But if I can't ask you to, I see, so you have, even sometimes you have posted yourself, I mean, like the vice president of South Africa. Yesterday, my wife showed me the vice president. He said, oh, this is the vice president. I said, vice president of what? So, South Africa. I said, oh, okay. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. It's also not a problem. He said his name is what? Paul Mashaba. Mashatile. I was David Mabuza. He was also an absentee. Um, so even when it changes, you can't tell. Do you get it? You have made yourself so powerful that you can't be sent. If we are arranging chess, we can't tell. I mean, we are so shy. Sometimes we are even scared or shy. It's like you are so much of a big woman, like your makeup. I mean, there's such a makeup that you have. Who are we to say arrange? Look, one day we were serving communion. Communion. When I came, I saw the children's communion. It was green, color green. Now, by the way, you can use any liquid for communion, but all said and done. I mean, you can wear any color for your wedding, but generally speaking, we, a lady wears white. So if I come and you are wearing black, I have to be alarmed. I have to ask that, ah, whose idea is this? Do, do you get it? Because white for purity. Do, do you, it's not written, thou shalt wear white at your wedding, but that's what it stands for. So when I look at communion, since we are trying to replicate blood, I ex even if I don't know colors, I expect blood to be like, say, to shirt. But the communion was like my shirt. So I said, oh no, we can't give this to the children. Even the children are wondering, is this juice or communion? So I said they should tell the communion lady that, oh, no, no, no. This, as for Jews there, we, I can, we can go and buy one here quickly and change. Oh, no, the communion madam was angry. Said has, she has stopped the church. Yes, yeah, stop, yeah, 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 yeah. She has stopped the, stopped the church for a long time. Came back to church once, twice, and died. Which was an act of mercy from God. 
Yeah. I tell you, came back to church once. I saw her with my eye once after that. The next time I was standing with her husband, laying her on the ground. An act of mercy. I'm telling you. I couldn't believe. Look, I couldn't believe my eyes that, that why me as the pastor who has asked you to serve the communion cannot make a contribution into the same communion that you are serving on my behalf. So immediately, Alan, your value goes down. It's like when I ask you to do something, I can't say anything about it. That, oh, Charlie, even I can't change my mind. Uh, but you said I should put it on the table. Why are you now saying I should put it in the drawer? Oh, I'm very sorry. Sorry for left. Sorry that I changed my mind. But what it means is that next time, when I started working with the media people, initially, every time there's a confusion. Because when it comes to the media things, I know what I'm looking for. But I don't know how to tell you what I'm looking for. So as you are doing the thing for me, that's when I can say, oh, it's beginning to look like what I want. No, 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 this is not what I want at all. Meanwhile, I've used my mouth to use maybe some computer words that tell you that this is what it is. In your computer language, this is what it means. But in my head, what I'm looking for, that's not what you have done. Do you see it? Uh, the manifest, it's not manifesting, there's a broken link. So we have to work it uh, and get there. So usually I said, ah, what am So I got somebody who, in a sense, understands what I'm trying to say. Although I can't say it in computer language. So when I say it to the person, the person also says it to the computer person. The computer person is also wondering, why don't I tell him myself to tell this person to tell? But that was where the missing link was. Do you, do, you, do you get it? So as we went on gradually after several different fights, many fights here, there, confusion, settle of confusion, then now the computer person started to understand how I, I understand the things. I, I don't do the same with other things. How I, so he realized, no, 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 Bishop, you have to show him pictures. You see? So when he says, let's do the, let's do the, then you show him a picture. Is this what you are saying? Then you say, no. Then you'll be wondering, ah, by your mouth, what your mouth is saying, this is it. <laughs> this is what your mouth is saying. You see, then you manipulate the information. Then you can say, hey, hey, this is what I'm saying. You say, oh, Bishop, they don't call it collage. They call it frame. I said, aha, uh -huh. so that's the, I told you it's called frame from the very beginning. I said it in my head, but it has not come out. That's exactly what I'm trying to say to you. So when the computer person started to understand me, then the thing started to work. Everything started to work. Now, to my surprise, when the thing started to work, when the computer person does the work, then the computer person will take it to the middleman who we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe the computer, the, the, miss, the middle man who we were sacking. Then the computer person, as he has done it, he go back to the middle and say, What do you think? Let's share ideas. I said, You see now, you, all the things working for our good. But since then, since, since then, they do that. Even when I say something, then they will say, oh, but there's another way we can even do it better. Then they'll bring nicer ideas. When they bring it, I say, ah, this one is even better than what I, why didn't you say it from the beginning that this is the one I am looking for? So from that time, it's easier to send such a person because the person is sendable, understands, goes through the back. Look, if you are doing something in Lighthouse, you'll do it about 10 times. Because if I'm presenting it somewhere, I can't just present one. We were doing our church, our new logo. The very first one we did was the one. We did about, James, how many? <laughs> the computer guy, he would do this. Then they'll say, what are, I said, look, James, just do. We know, we, you and I, between you and I, we know which one is going to win the tender. But... I can't walk into the meeting with one design that this is it. No, no, I must come and have, I mean, even you, when you are choosing a girl, you want to have one nice girl and six bad girls. Then you say, oh, I've chosen the best. 
the presence of the bad girls make you feel that you have chosen the best. We, do, we like good things. Yeah. So you must make yourself so that you can be sent. When we, well, well, I'll send you to Mapushana, you are on your way to Mapushana. I should be able to say that, look, I'll change my mind. I don't want it from, from Mapushana. I want it from somewhere else. There should, there should be no need for anger. Once anger and things come in, then now you are becoming less and less sendable. And the more you become unsendable, the more your value goes down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you see somebody, when you go and complain about it, even they may be complaining about their worker. Then you also go and say some. Then they'll turn the fight. It's like me, I can be working. I say, hey, this guy, oh, no, 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 no. Look, what I will do to him, Melanie, ah, she will see something. Then you make a mistake, then you too, you say, oh, that's how she is. She's, that's how she, then I'll leave the Melanie fight, then I'll come to you. What do you mean by that's how she is? What? Is it? Oh, but you were complaining right now that James doesn't do the thing straight. Is it your concern? Is it you? I'm just talking. Allow me to talk. When I finish talk, me, I can talk about you, and huh? then I now say, oh, but that guy is a very good guy. Hey, no, no, no. He has really helped us. Don't, don't. Then you'll be wondering, ah, am I listening to the same? Is the, is the pastor bipolar? Or, hey, that's why don't complain about anybody's, anybody's worker, anybody's servant. No. There's something that makes that person special. To, to the person. Especially when they have options and they still stick with that one. Never go and start a complaint. Oh, no, no, no. It will be, if you have a genuine problem that you need help, fine. But don't come and start it. If you, I say, if, if me, I'm the one who has started oh, they put the keyboard where I said they shouldn't put it and I start to complain. All you do is mm. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Let's pick it. Uh, yeah, that's about and you say in your head, this guy is setting a trap for me. Eh? <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> to be sendable requires faithfulness. Faithfulness to even the message. If I've sent you to go and tell somebody something, you can't go and distort the message. You go, you change the message. Or you distort the message. You have to be faithful. We say, go and tell them, bring four sticks. Then you go there and say, bring a chair or bring a table because he has four legs. You have distorted the message. Many people cannot be sent because when they go out, they don't, they don't deliver the message exactly. Sometimes even the tone of the message. The message on loyalty is not a friendly message. You can't deliver it on Valentine's Day as a love message. It's a confrontational message. But you want to be Mr. Nice. So when you are delivering such a message, you say, oh, loyalty is uh, for the love of God to fill the church, for us to see the faith call on. What, what is that? You have, even the spirit of the message, you are distorting it. Hallelujah. The same at your workplace. Can your boss send you? When they send you, will you go and do exactly what they ask you to do? Would you say exactly what they asked you to say? Or you go and do what you like? Once you can. Well, uh, there are people I can't send them to go and represent the church. Unfortunately. They are members, long-standing members of the church. But I can't send them to go and represent the church. Because if I send you to go and represent the church, even when you are, not, when you are representing yourself, the things you say about the church... How then do I send you go and represent us here? By the time you leave there, our image there is false. Even the way you present yourself. Can your company say, the boss is having a meeting with the big bosses from Johannesburg. Can they say, come along, let's go. The way you carry yourself. Can this mean? And sometimes you do all the work. But you can't be promoted. You can't because of even the way you carry yourself. Sometimes you are, as a lady, you are flirtatious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe as a lady, you are flirtatious. In a business environment, you are just flaunting yourself all over the place. I mean, flaunting yourself. Do you understand the word to flaunt? Flaunting yourself all over the place. If they say it, you say sexual harassment, so they don't say it. But they'll never choose you for anything important. When visitors come around, I don't let you come to the office. Important visitors, then you bring it there, it's bouncing, it has lost control, it's out of control, out of place. Out of control, and you are coming to serve, and each ser service requires going down. So each time you serve, you bow before your throne. See, I could tamba. See, I could do me, See, I could do me, We bow before your throne. We don't know where to go. When, when, so now, when we are talking to you, we don't know where to look. But there you come from the end. In humble adoration, we do what? We magnify your name. As we come into your presence. No, that's where we magnify your name. We magnify your name. So, ah, that's what they sing. They go, we bow before your throne. Then as you have bowed, look, even when you get up, some can return. Because of the elasticity. Because of the elasticity and its vis viscosity. Or the lack of elasticity coupled with its viscosity, it cannot retract. Let's use technical terms. When it, when it, when it goes forward, it, it's what? When it extends, it cannot retract. So once you have bowed it, you've cast it. Like the 20 and 4 elders cast their it ca it casting crowns, we can, it can retract. It can retract. You will not look. Sometimes I look at things. I say, "Hey, the day a big man comes here, I have to put all these people in isolation, I so quarantine and put them in a box." I say, "Join the media and work from the back." Yeah, work from home. Remote, remote working. Work from home. Work from home. Join the service online. Live watching from France. Watch from France. Hallelujah. Add value to yourself. You are a man in the office. You are flirting with all the ladies. When you enter, hello, beautiful. Uh, hello, babe. Uh, what are some of the words you have been using on the golf course? Please say it quickly so we can go for You say somebody is uh, something. How do you say, uh, what? No, something. Not my baby. He has some word. Yes, moon to am, moon to am, is moon to warming, moon to am, moon to am is what? My person. Oh, okay, okay. My moon to. Yeah. Hmm. At the workplace, oh. The bosses are not watching. You are the center of confusion. Yesterday, was it yesterday? Yesterday's yesterday. Monday. Ma no. Sunday night or Monday. I heard that a church that was working, like it, it had started and it started to work. Then suddenly a group of people left the church. When they were asked why, they said they thought the pastor was going to marry one of them. So they have all left. Today the church is closed. I mean today, 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 Sunday, today, the church is closed. Yes, all of them is like, and the pastor is still not married. He's still moving around. The pastor is a never say die guy. Still not married, still moving around. So the confusion at your workplace, you are the source of it all. You are the source of it. In the church, in the choir. You are the source. 
three of the soloists, three of the lead singers, they are all, even when they are leading the song, even you are stand, who are the people who stand in soprano or auto? Auto people are here, you are here. They are leading the song from here. They will lead the song to here because you are here. Then the other auto singer, they naturally they are not, they are supposed to be singing soprano, but because of the guy, they've all come to sing auto. So when they see her leading the song and coming here, as they are doing the moves, then they'll be also coming here. And you'll be wondering, ah, you are supposed to be facing here. It's blocking the lead singer so that he can I mean, you have blocked my view so that we can do a John Cena. Add value to yourself. Become somebody who can be sent. You will be faithful to what you have been sent to do. Faithful with that. You can represent the company. Even when they give you company t-shirts that wear them, wear them. Don't say, oh, my shirt is nicer than the... Wear them. You are representing the company. It shows loyalty. It shows faithfulness. It shows interest in what the company is doing. Wear them. So, I, mean, I don't like blue. My favorite color is green. If they are giving me green, I would have wore green. Look, the company is built on blue. Wear it. Yeah. Mm. But it's just one shirt they have given us. They want us to wear it every day. Wash it and wear it every day. Wash it and wear it every day. Through that, even in the working hours, you are representing the company. Can I get an amen? amen. You, you don't say amen. <laughs> don't add value to yourself as my church members. Amen. Wear it. It's the company shirt. Wear it. Move around. Let everybody identify you with the company. It's all adding value to you. The company begins to respect you because you respect the company. Can you be sent? Look, I'm surprised. There are, there, look, there are people that when I have to, if I come to the church, they are the only people here. What I came to do, I'll do it myself. Yes. I'll do it myself. And there are people, no matter what time of the day it is, what time of the night it is, if what I am going to do, they can do it. I'm not afraid to call them. No, 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 no. I'm not afraid to call them. Just call. Please, just call. Charlie, how? Well, I'm, I'm very, very fast. Charlie, you have to wake up. Oh, you know the way it is. Aha, uh -huh. then where are you? Where are you? First question, where are you? Ah, I'm not afraid. Not because I'm powerful. It's because of the way they are. They've made themselves that. It's like unspoken. They have to call me anytime. Call me what? Anytime. Sometimes they can be in town and say, go home, go home. This thing they requires that you will be at home. So go home, let's do this thing now. Pa, pa, pa. Now, now, now. Then you see them rounding up everything they are doing to go home to make sure that the thing is done. Yeah, it's an unspoken message. You, do you think when I call people, I can't hear what is in the background? I can hear taxis honking, everything. I mean, in your house, are taxis honking in your house? So I know, I know what they have to stop to get what has to be done, done. Yeah, so that, that's what gives me the confidence that I can. So the day I ask them to do something and they can't do it, I know that genuinely it's beyond their, it's beyond them. That's why. I know. I know that this one. <sighs> one day I traveled, somebody was working with us for the first time. And we were having conclave, so we we're doing reporter. Then the person asked a question, so, so when will we sleep? So, when will we sleep? Then the old workers told, no, until they come back, we just have to be, you just have to carry the laptop wherever you are going. Just keep going. When you get the message, you respond, then you keep going. Then you, get, then you do the report, then you say, so, but this report, I did it last week. You do it, then you move forward. Yeah, but when the person asks that question, I put it down. This one. Because of the nature of my work. It doesn't come, you see, <coughs> my work doesn't come that here's all of it, do it, go home. Like today I was called for a meeting, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. The meeting starts at 12, it ends at 4. 
from 12 o'clock, I was sitting waiting. I'm still waiting. The meeting has not happened. Yeah. I'm still waiting. The meeting has not happened. From that time to this time, the, the meeting has not happened. I'm just on standby. If I see my phone beep now, ping that, the meeting started, I say, look, it's been a pleasure. God bless you. I go and settle down. Start if a, a message has come. Okay, it's not that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if you know that you are not going to do the meeting, why don't you tell us that you are not going to do the meeting, but you tell us you make us stop everything that we are doing, then we come and sit at one place, then as we are sitting there, you also will not call the meeting. Then if you know that you're not going to, just tell us that you won't call the meeting. Okay, you are tired, but you'll do it tomorrow. Or if it come next week so that we all do it. But you are saying, we should, now we are sitting here like a prisoner. And please, <laughs> I'm on standby. That's it. That's it. So if you don't make yourself, a, even at your workplace, your uncle, you don't make yourself on standby. You, you I mean, like ready to, some, even some things you say, they are below you. <clears throat> Look, it's easier for me to ask a professional in the church to clean the toilets than to ask one of these small girls to clean the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody who has a PhD. Somebody who has a master's degree. I mean, professional. I say, Charlie, clean the toilet. They can't even understand. Even the training in school makes them understand that somebody must clean the toilet before it is used. When you send one of these people who don't want to go to school, who are just sitting at home, cannot do math late, cannot pass English. As soon as you say, say ah, because I couldn't pass math late, now you say I should go and clean the toilet. How? Can I even connect your mass lit and cleaning of the toilet? How do you think the toilet was being cleaned for you to use it? And when you use it, you use it haphazardly. You spray your stuff all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of getting to it, you use it from a distance. Wet the whole floor. Everything you spray it everywhere, everywhere. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a, 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 a water hose that has come out of a sprinkler. Then <laughs> like that. How do you think it's clean for you to use it the next time? Pastor Zolini, I say it's easier for me to ask your wife to clean the toilet than to ask some of the church members to clean the toilet. Just, just the level of professionalism makes the person real. Even she said, she said, when you go to a workplace, she's a big woman. I mean, Melanie used to work for her. She's a big woman. So she knows how authority works. If I had a managing director, a CEO here, it would be easier to ask the CEO to clean the toilet than to ask some of you to clean the toilet. Because the CEO understands authority. He understands. That's why the person, Jesus, that centurion, he said to them, oh, I'm a man and I know how authority works. I said to one person, go anywhere. I said, another council. You just give the instruction. It will work. The reason why I'm saying just give is because I am somebody who has authority. I know how authority works. Yeah. Sometimes the people who cannot be sent are the people who have nothing. Nothing. I mean, you have, sometimes you wonder if you, why you cannot be sent. Why such a person cannot be sent? Has nothing, knows nothing, can do nothing. But some more thing you give them to do, come and see the pump and the flexing. Come and see the pump. You see them, you see them flexing. Mm, mm, mm. Meanwhile, nothing. Great 12 cry you can pass. Please, has South Africa won? One, one. We are still winning. Okay, is it finished? We are playing a replay tomorrow. Extra time. Okay, today. Yeah. If they go to penalty there, they will lose because our goalkeeper he saves everything. Ah, okay. <laughs> Cannot be sent. From today, become somebody who is sendable. Amen. I mean, your husband can send you. I mean, your husband can me or he has married you. He's paid Lobola for, he showed you respect, everything. All your boyfriends you had back in the day in Eastern Cape, none of them married you. None of your Osa boyfriends married you. None of your Zulu boyfriends married you. Only this one. You trick him, he married you, fine. Now, go and... 
Go and bring supper. You, mm, I'm tired. If you go and take your bath, go and take your bath before you come into the bed. You say, it's been a long day. Then it's been a long day. That's why you must go and take your bath. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next and next Wednesday is Valentine's Day, and I'm continuing this message. I mean, he can't send you. He can't send you, your husband. He even send you to go and help yourself, to go and add value to yourself before you sleep. You say, "Oh, I'm not going anywhere when I sleep." I'm not going anywhere. What if you meet an important person in your dream? In your dream, if you are dreaming, you meet an important person, what will happen? If Jesus comes, if Jesus comes that night, you are going to go to heaven dirty. Ah! He says, turn around. Then you've made their face. Just turn around, though. Just, no, don't go to town. It's not like go to the mall. Just turn around. Come and see. Come and see. Tell your neighbor, come and see. Become somebody who can be sent. Let me give you one more point. <laughs> it will add value to you. Amen. God is adding value to us. I said God is adding value to us. You become valuable when you bring projects to a close. Apart from being sendable, the other thing that adds value to you is being able to bring projects, tasks to a completion, to a close. Sometimes, when you are not experienced, you think, you look at the effort the person has made, then you say, oh, they've done a lot of work. But it only works when it has worked. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It only works. When I started working with the people, every, everybody has a story. Some have spreadsheets to support their story. Some have pictures to support their stories. We went there seven times. The people were not there. Eight times. I said, you know something, let's make the work easy for all of us. I only understand numbers. I don't understand stories. After everything you did, what was the result? That's the part that I understand. Not the process. But they are trying to say, trust the process. Trust the process. And sometimes they look at the amount of work they have put in, and they feel they've done a lot. But and some projects, until they are complete, they are useless. You've built a brand new BMW. You have put three ties on it. You don't have a fourth tie. That's a tricycle. Tricycle, B BMW tricycle. It's not a car. It's the same type of car. It's not. So one day, a pastor was angry at an administrator and wanted to say something to the administrator and said to the administrator, you are like a car with three tires. In other words, you are useless. Yeah. Because a car with three tires, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to ride it? You can't drive it. Meanwhile, look, is the body not there? It is there. Is the engine not there? It is, are there no airbags? There are air, is the air conditioner not working? Is work is the radiator fault? No. Everything is fine. Is it not painted? Is, are the lights working? Every, is the steering there? Does it have power steering? Indeed, it has power steering, but cannot be driven. It has to come back from Lady Smith to Marysburg. It's not going to go to... Ah, it cannot go to Joburg. It has to come back, either by towing or by specialists. Yeah, but it cannot go to Joburg. Sunday, I left here going to Joburg. Suddenly, I had only three times. Yeah, I had to call roadside assist. Hey, hey, they came to collect the car. The car returned from Lady Smith to Marysburg. For another car with four ties and a spare to go to Joburg and come. And it was returned by X Street. I called 
two, two of the best drivers I know. Yeah. No, to be honest with you, the best drivers I know personally, I call them. Because even if the tie comes off, one of them can carry it as the other one drives it. They have a way. They can drive on two tires like this and come. Yeah. To come and save the situation. But the car couldn't go to the promised land. Yeah, some pro- I mean, you are cooking. You have cooked the whole day, but the food is not yet done. What is the use of it? You know, I started early in the morning. I woke up, I don't, oh, useless. Until the food is done, it is not food. It cannot be eaten. So when you are giving a project, it's important to be able to bring it to an end, completion. So when your boss sees that they can give you a project and you can finish the project, then they say, oh, good person. When you give a project, you, don't, you can't feel, you have halfway through, you say you are tired. Since your father sent you to school, every day you are changing school, you won't finish the school that you, 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 today you have changed, today you are doing tourism, today you say you are doing nursery, tomorrow, one brother, he changed school so much, every day he has a new school idea, so one day he came to tell me, when he told me, I said, listen up, I am sure that one of these days you will come and tell me that the crash down there, it's a very good school, when you listen to the English that Christian and things, they speak George and Co, and it is a very good school. When you listen to the English and the things they know, you think you want to enroll in the crash. A university student. That, I told him, yeah, yeah. I said, I said, one of these days you are going to, I'm waiting for, I told him, I'm waiting for you. I, I, because we were going there. Every three days we change our program. Either we are doing BTEC, or Diploma, UNISA, um, DUT, higher certificate, lower certificate, matric. We are going to expand matric, improve matric. Do the, it's like every day there's a new idea. Hey, every, and for some time, any idea they bring, I say, oh, okay. I say, oh, it looks nice. Oh, it's, uh, but one day I grew up, I said, look, this nonsense must stop. I said, brother, I, I did this. I said, brother, this nonsense must stop. Every day there's a new course. So I, I, said, to the, I said, you know something, let me tell you this, this is what is going to happen, so that when it happens, you are not surprised. You will come and tell me that you have a new idea, and I'll say, what is the new idea? You will say that they crash. You have seen Karis, <laughs> Pilar, <laughs> Christian, Eden. They've all finished, graduated, they've gone to big school. So you think that the crash is a good crash, which it is. So you want to enroll and become classmates with, um, no, the guy with the Titus. Then I said that you'll be sitting here and my son will finish school and you are still in school. Yeah, I, we're at APSA, under the auspices of APSA. Yeah, I said, this is the last time. Just the, whatever you are doing, finish it until you finish it. Another guy also brought this in school. I said, look, you don't like school. So I like, I said, it's not a problem. You talk, talk, you talk for about 30 minutes. When I start, I said, since you don't like school, <laughs> then he will convince me, convince me. When it's time for me to talk, I start with the phrase, since you don't like school, <laughs> all my advice is based on the fact that you don't like school. Because how much did I not force for you to finish school? They say one module, one and a half module, one module and a half. They, I say finish it. Oh, no. Now you have to start from the beginning. If you don't finish what you are doing, it cannot be used. It is useless. So anybody you have, you give them a project, they finish the project. Immediately you gain respect. And for example, we wanted to do live streaming. Many years ago, before even COVID came, we tried this, tried this, tried this, tried this, tried this, tried camera, tried this, tried this, and we do everything until I got one guy. Even I got a guy by mistake. I was just walking and talking, and the guy overheard and said, oh, is this what you want to do? Oh, we can't do it. When the guy said we can, he didn't know how to do it. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> this one is between you and I. He didn't know what to do. He just said, we can't do it. Then he left me. By the time I came, the thing was being done. Going to research, going to study, going to find how it can be done and get it done. Sometimes I'm even giving projects. 
I don't understand what they are talking about. I'll be at the meeting. They'll talk. Uh, I'll be saying in my head. Why, why are they even talking to me? <laughs> Do they think I understand what they are saying? Then they'll be using all these big, big computer words. I'll just be listening. And I know how to nod my head and, be in a con and not look like a fool. Just be there. Oh, yeah. I think it's a very great idea. I think if we flip it around this way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When I come, I sit down with my computer guys. I say, you see, they were saying something. It looked like they were saying this, but actually they were also saying this. Then they said this other thing. So open your eyes on the ground. Inspire what they are trying to do. And let's do it. Then they will tell me, oh, it will work. Once they tell me that it will work, I go home and I sleep. <laughs> it means that I've been able to let them see what we are trying to achieve. And look, it's not just words they are giving me. By the time I come, it is one day. We were in a meeting. We were discussing some things. So, they needed somebody to do something, posters or something. Then one of the bishops said, oh, he has some girl. I said, okay. Oh, she can get everything done. I was sitting there listening to the conversation. I said, oh, yeah, so it's not a problem at all. So he was boasting a lot. I was watching. I said, hey, maybe he has some specialists from Microsoft from somewhere who has come. So me, let me just be quiet. Me, I don't have anybody to do my thing. So let me just be quiet and look at those who are talking big and everything. So then somebody asked, oh, who is the girl? So she's called Joel. I said, hey. <laughs> I said, oh, so, so I said, anyway, the world is very small. Maybe it's, uh, then Bishop Peter asked him, from where? So, from Bishop D's place. I, I just smiled and said, okay, okay. <laughs> Look, if the problem is solved for him, it is solved for me. I'm telling you. But when we started, we didn't know anything. We learned as we are. I remember one day we were having, if those of you remember, we were having a meeting that we needed to live stream with some people, connect. I don't know whether it's live. You see the, the words I'm using. But my media people, they know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Zoom something. Look, the pressure was on. We're standing. We couldn't breathe. We are waiting to kick up. You see them running around. Eventually, they say, oh, it's working. We are on. By the time I come, we are on. Then later, other people are asking, so how did you guys do it? The way you presented it was very nice. So I'll be saying, my, yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be surprised that a lot of the people above me that I work with, they don't know that I don't know anything about the computers. No, they think I'm the architect of it. <laughs> Two things they always think that I'm a master of administration and technology. Meanwhile, those are the two things that I don't know anything about. Why am I, do I look so good? I just have people who, when they take up the project, they will complete it. They will complete it. They will make sure that it is completed. You too. So if you come and say, oh, I want to take three of the members, I'll be watching you with my eye as you are pointing. If I see your finger going in a second, I say, hey, Tofiakwa, point this direction, point this direction. Yeah, point this there. Can't you take that guy over there? Sometimes it looks like he has a mental problem, but we are not sure. They yeah, are that guy, that guy. But not the people who complete their projects. No. No. So you too. I gave somebody a song to learn. The person told me the words are a lot. The person had had the song for four weeks. So he said, I, I said, how far have you? He said, half. I said, okay, come and sing the half. Couldn't even finish the half. I said, ah. As the person was singing, even the mistakes they were making after four weeks, I was just saying in my head, you will never sing for me again. Is, is this, today is the last day. Today, I made them, I was telling them, I, said, I made a mistake. I even closed a group because of that person. Four weeks. I said, the people I work with, you give them the song, you give them overnight. They'll burn it the whole night to know their song. When they come here, they are singing. The words are so many. The words are like, an, like, a, like thesis, thesis, or like a medical school book. Big. They are singing. Then they'll be giving the words again. So when the media people make a mistake, they don't bring the words. Ah! But you learn one song. You said the words are too many. Too many. 
You want to even once I want to change some of the words. I said, change it to where? Is that is that word you want to change? That's why I want the song. That's why I want the song. So make yourself somebody that when you are giving a project, you can bring it. You see, when somebody gives you something to do, they are looking at the end. It's because they can picture the end result. That's why they give you the project. So anything apart from, you see like that podcast corner they have put at the back. This is what I want to see. When I was talking about it, the process, the, it wasn't. So they said, oh, by Sunday, I said, look, when I see it, I will believe it. That's all. I don't want to. Let's not have plenty discussion. So when I was, I was sitting in my house, when I got a picture of the podcast, I said, yes, now it's working. All the talking before, no, it's not part of the, it is complete. Then it's done. If you become somebody who completes things that you've been asked to do, you become very special at your workplace. Immediately, your boss will start to value you. Say, hey, this person if you give it to her, she will make sure it is done. Now that you've done half of it, you are just there. Every day they ask you, there's a story. Every day they ask you, there's a new story. You, 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 you even say, I want to eat. Where is the food? We are making jollof. Good. But it's coming. We are cooking it. It's still not finished. It's, you even become tired. Have you tried cooking for somebody and the person fell asleep before? <laughs> As you are cooking, oh, then the person has fallen asleep. It's a message to you that the food is taken to. Recently, I was, I was being invited somewhere. Then I told Pastor Lungani, I won't come. So, please. I said, look, that place I go, I'll be hungry for a long time. I said to Pastor Lungani, I won't come. He said, oh, everything is ready. I said, the last time I was there, I took everything myself. It was still not ready. It took forever <laughs> to come. So, I won't come. Then he said, okay, we'll let the people go in advance and make the, I said, okay, all, unless that, because if I come, I'll be there for a long time. I'll be, you see, when, I, when I'm in church, I don't feel hungry. When I sit in my car and I spark it and I reverse, I start to feel hungry. If you call me back into the church, the hunger will disappear. But once I am going home, I start to feel hungry. So after everything, when I come and say, I have to sit another two hours, three hours to wait for the food. No, no, no. I would rather fall asleep. I would rather fall asleep. Church of God, may you become that person who brings every project you have been given to a completion and an end. You execute it completely so that your value will lift up tremendously. Stand to your feet. Let's share a word of prayer tonight as we close. Lift your hands, let us pray. Father, behold, every hand that is lifted, I pray for everyone here that you will lift up and increase our value before you and before every authority in our lives. Make us sendable. Anything in our lives that makes us unsendable, Lord, help us by your spirit to get rid of it so that we can be people who can be sent. Give us humility, give us wisdom to execute what we have been sent to do. Above all, to execute what you have sent us to do, oh God. Help us to take projects that we start to its logical conclusion in the name of Jesus. May we not leave things halfway. May we not leave things undone. May we not leave things 90% completed. But may we bring it to a total completion where nothing can be added to it anymore in the name of Jesus. That our value will shoot up tremendously, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Your value is increasing. Amen. I say your value is increasing. Amen. Wonderful. You may be seated in the presence of God.